So most of you are probably here from part one because that didn't work for you. And don't worry about it. I completely understand. I had this problem myself where it worked at first, but now for some reason that way it doesn't work. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some other ways that you can try to do to fix this problem where the rendering freezes on a certain number. This video is going to be split into four different methods that you could try yourself and see if they work. Now for me, one of them definitely did work. The other ones you can try yourself. It depends on your computer and the issues you're having. It's not the same for everyone, but for me, one of them worked and I'll tell you which one it is in this video. But the other ones are still quite useful to know and try because they're just really simple to do. I'll be rendering at least one video to prove it to you that it does work. It'll be a short video and I'll be testing it out myself. Now for the first one, what we want to do is we want to go to options tab here at the top and go to preferences. In here, you want to go to video and you will see something called CPU acceleration of video processing. Mine is set on the graphics card that I have. You can either try to turn it off or turn it on and do some testing with that because to some people this works. For me, this didn't work, but it might work for you. So it's worth giving it a try. The next method is the one that worked for me. And this one was also really simple. It was just a few clicks. So what you want to do is you want to go back to options and in here, you want to hold shift and control. Make sure you do this. If you don't, it's not going to appear. For some reason, there's a hidden tab in the preferences. If you have a look now, you have editing display, all of this stuff here. And there should be one called internal, but you can't see it. Hold shift and control at the same time and click on it. This will bring you the internal tab. In here, we want to type in a multi and then you want to type in the first few letters of core so multi-core and you want to look at this one where it says enable multi-core rendering for playback this one has to be on false and true the value will be on false and then the default will be on true to change it if yours is let's say this one's true you can easily click on it double click on it and then you rename it but make sure it's all in capital letters now that you've changed this one you want to also get rid of the co at the end the co and then put in multi space stream or as if you're going to type stream and then there should be one called multi stream render this one has to be on false and false both of them the value and the default just like last time double click on them change it make sure it's in capital letters and you are pretty much done you just press ok and like I said, this is the one that worked for me. Now, it might not exactly work for you, but this is why this video has different ways of looking around the problem and seeing which one your computer is going to work with. I'm just going to quickly show you that this does work. And for me, it worked really well. I'm going to get the short GTA 5 clip. I'm going to give it a simple name like GTA 5 test clip and done. And there we go. As you can see, it's 100%. It worked. It rendered it all out. And I'm just going to go and have a look, see what the clip looks like. It's pretty much the same as the first one. So I'm just going to open it and make sure that it's all that I had been working on. There you go. There's the full video that I've been working on. The third thing you could try and do is to go to start and in here you want to go to all programs. Now, if you're using Windows 10, it's going to be a little bit more different because the design of it is, you know, changed and it's not the same as Windows 7. So you're probably just going to have to type it in the search and look for a folder called Sony or Sony Vegas because there'll be a folder on your computer called Sony Vegas and that is where you have a file which launches the application and this is where we need to go when you go to properties. For me, I can just go in here and scroll down and see Sony there. And as you can see in here, we have Sony Vegas Pro and this is how you launch the app. Now, if you've got a shock on your desktop or anywhere, you can just easily right click on it and go to properties, but I don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I right click on this one. It should have properties as well. Just want to go into properties. 
Now that you've got properties, you can go over to compatibility. By default, this will probably be unchecked. So if you check it and then you go into here, you go to Windows Vista. You could try to render the video with it ticked or with it unticked. For the last one, what you want to do is you want to actually go into the render options. Make sure you have a video here selected, ready to be rendered. Otherwise, you can't go into it. Go to File and then Render. In here, you want to find the template that you normally use and go to to customize template. Once you're in here, you want to go all the way to the bottom where it says encode mode. Now, I would recommend to use what your computer has available. To do that, you can go to system and check GPU. This will tell you what the recommended one is for your computer and which one you should use or what is available for your graphics card. If you don't have an Nvidia graphics card that can, you know, handle this or do it, just have it on this or you try other options because now for the one that I'm using is a CUDA and this one one is actually the best one, the fastest one. If your computer can't handle it, then go to the other ones that are available for your computer. To show you that this works, I'm gonna render this second clip out called a GTA 5 test 2 and render. Getting closer to the end and there we go, 100%. It did fully render out and we're gonna go and have a look what the video looks like. It's all rendered out and I'm just gonna quickly skip through it. And there you go, it is all there. Anyway, if this video helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up to show other people that this did work. Or if it didn't, then let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, you can leave a suggestion if you want help on other issues. I'll try my best. But yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.